talk show host Michael Savage, somebody who said controversial things in the past. Remember he caused an uproar when he said that autistic children are often brats who haven't, quote, been told to cut the act out. Well, now he's the one who's furious because the British government just banned him from the UK. So what is a radio guy doing on a country's do not enter list with Nazi skinheads, in some cases murderers and Muslim extremists? I want to ask about this. The British Home Secretary Jackie Smith saying that you're on this list that we've been talking about because you are someone who, quote, has fallen into the category of fomenting hatred of such extreme views and expressing them in such a way that's actually likely to cause inter-community tension or even violence if that person were allowed in the country. What's your response to that? It is demented. That's a demented attitude. We are protected by the First Amendment, number one. They are not. And the First Amendment, as we all know, was written to protect offensive speech, not polite speech. Let's begin with the basics. But more than that, she lumped me in with known murderers and terrorists, people who have been in prison for killing people. I am a talk show host and an author. The fact of the matter is I've been on the air for 15 years, three hours a day, five days a week. I have never, ever promoted violence. There has never been one violent incident attached to my show. And, and, and as you said, you're being grouped in with people including anti-gay preachers, radical Muslim clerics, the Ku Klux Klan. Uh, of all the talk radio hosts, why you? I was astounded when I saw this. I thought it was some bizarre joke. I said, this can't be real. How in the world could she lump me in with people such as Russian skinheads who were imprisoned for killing people? It makes no sense. Why waste your time? You know, uh, you have a lot of things to do. You say you're probably not interested in even traveling to the UK. So why waste your time fighting this in court? I'm not wasting my time. I've spent my entire life building up a great reputation amongst millions of loyal followers and fans. I have a family, and when I leave the earth, I want to leave my name in good standing, in the way it really is. My PhD is from Berkeley. I did great research. I've written great books. Uh, I'm a family man. I love my country. And I want to clear my name. I want my name off that list, and I want a letter of apology from this Jackie Smith. And since this came to light, have you heard anything from the British government about whether they're rethinking this? I have not, but I've heard from British attorneys who are salivating to set the record straight uh, and win quite a large settlement should she not remove my name from the list. There's a lot of British people that have never heard of you before. They didn't know Michael Savage. They didn't know your radio show before this. That are now going to be logging on the Internet, clicking on, listening to you. So, I mean, this has got to help ratings in some way. It's not about ratings. I'm at a point in my life where ratings don't matter to me one way or the other. I could leave radio tomorrow and I wouldn't have a different lifestyle than I do today. People have to understand that I believe in what I say. Borders, language, culture is the real message of the Savage Nation. Borders, language, culture. I'm a traditional American, I'm a patriotic American, and if that's a crime in England, God help us all. Why don't you clear up some of the misconceptions? I want to ask you about your views on some of the following things. What are your views on homosexuality, for example? My religious training teaches me that it's uh, uh, something to shun. And when a society starts to embrace homosexuality uh, and other behaviors, where does the society end up? And what do you say to people who say, you know, I was born this way, I didn't ask to, you know, be attracted to one sex or the other, and I shouldn't be treated differently? Well, you could be born many different ways. It doesn't mean, it's a, doesn't mean that a person has to follow their, uh, their, their urges. I mean, there are many urges that people have. And if a society starts to uh, engage homosexuality on an equal footing with heterosexuality, you end up with no society. Where is the reproduction supposed to come from? Have we lost all sense of father, mother, and family? You once said about autism. You know what autism is? I'll tell you what autism is in 99% of the cases. It's a brat who hasn't been told to cut the act out. That's what autism is. <laughs> That's an absurd statement that was said in jest. They understand that. First of all, I come from a family where I had a handicapped brother, uh, which I don't want to go into. And I have given money. I have supported people. I have protected the defenseless all my life. There's no one in the media who's done more for the defenseless than Michael Savage, particularly children. What are your uh, views about immigrants and illegal immigration? <laughs> illegal immigration? Uh, it's in keeping with 80% uh, of the American people. They want it stopped, and they want it stopped now. This country is sinking in red ink. This country is broke. This country cannot afford the welfare. This country cannot afford the uh, legal care. This country cannot afford the education of illegal immigrants. We can no longer live in the 1950s. Moreover, 
uh, there's a big difference between immigration and illegal immigration. I am the son of an immigrant. I'm a first-generation American. My grandfather waited online to become a citizen. You can't suddenly take people who run across the border and say, presto, you're a citizen, can you? And uh, finally, what are your views on Islam? You once said... I don't want to hear any more about Islam. I don't want to hear one more word about Islam. Take your religion and shove it up your behind. What do you think about Islam? What do I think about Islam? I think it's up to the individuals to make their own decision. It's true that uh, most Muslims are not terrorists. That's clear. But it's also true that almost all terrorists on earth today are Muslim. Let's not deny reality. 9-11 was committed by who? 19 Saudi Arabians or 19 Christians? 19 Saudi Arabians who happen to be Islamic or 19 Jews? I mean, we're not, we can't deny reality. We're living in a world of reality or unreality. All right, so there's Michael Savage, uh, unapologetic for, you know, some of the uh, controversial positions that he has, and he says he is going to fight this, that he says that he's been on the air for, for years, uh, three hours a day, and that there's never been a violent incident related to his show, so he wants off this list. You know, the cynical part of me says he's loving this. Well, he told me that I, he, he, he basically said, I mean, you're right, people in Britain, Paul Newton told us they'd never heard of him before, now they're listening, but he says it's not about ratings, he doesn't care at this point in his life, he wants to clear his so name. So he's not going to talk about it on his radio show? Bet you he is. I bet you he is too. All right, well, uh, we thank him though, he was happy that he had a chance to get on our show and um, at least give his side.